Oh, wow. Alright, the GeForce Twin Mono is ready for its maiden run. I installed all the hardware, the steering linkage is installed, I installed the turn fins. I didn't install the trim tabs yet, but I will install them later on, but I couldn't wait for the maiden run. So this is how it looks like, two 6S 3000 mA 100C LiPo batteries. I tested the setup, it seems to work well. So let's go to the pond and let's try it out. Today is finally the day that I'm going to maiden run my GeForce Twin Mono. It's kind of cold and miserable outside, but I couldn't wait any longer. I'm excited and also kind of nervous at the same time. Let's see how it goes. I zeroed the GPS, so let's tape it up and let's go. All right, guys, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I made a stupid mistake. The left prop spins clockwise, but it should spin counterclockwise. So let's change the motor wiring and try again. All right, second try. Take it easy. Let's get a feel for the boat. It's a little bit hopping, but... Other than that, it handles pretty good for the first time. Let's try a small sprint. Let's wait for the ripples to cool down. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. All right, it's fast. I gave the stinger some down trim, so let's try again. Oh yes, much better. Full throttle pass. There we go. Wow, nice. I reckon it's about 
mal äh, 95 Kilometer schneller. Which is uh, 60 miles an hour. Let's check the water cooling. Yes, water cooling works fine. Alright, let's take it in, check the setup and the speed and switch the light bulbs. Let's check the speed. 100, exactly. Nice. Not bad for the first time. The motors are absolutely cold. No surprise with this weather. The lipos are not really hot. Okay, I switch up the lipos and go for run number two. Wow, nice. After six months of building, finally running your boat, it's so rewarding. Let's try another sprint. Wow. Acceleration is great. Oh. Sometimes it spins out. Let's see the speed. I guess it's a little bit higher. One hundred and two. Difficult to see. There is some water in the boat. Motors are absolutely cold. Lipos are just a little bit warm. It's stable, it's fast. Of course, it could be plenty more fast, but the journey will start now. I will start upgrading and tuning it. Back from the first run, the boat is in the workshop. And after I rewatched the footage, I think there are two main improvements to be made. The first one is that the boat is bouncing a bit when I am giving full throttle and that can have several reasons um, most likely it's either the center of gravity which is too far at the back with this layout the center of gravity is at 30 percent of the boat length in front of the transom so it's about here and i have the feeling that maybe shifting the lipo batteries a little bit more forward will reduce uh, the bouncing another solution could be installing trim tabs so the first run I didn't install them, but finally 
I want to put them just next to the stinger drives. So I think I will cut a bit of this uh, angle here. So I can move it as close as possible to the stinger drives. And trim tabs will settle down the boat. So you can adjust the angle of the trim tabs a little bit. So you can settle down the bow. Or actually just raise the bow if you want. Um, besides changing the angle of the stinger drives. The second improvement I want to make is that the boat is spinning out in tight corners. Uh, actually I did run the small turn fins. I do have some larger ones. So maybe it's just a matter of replacing these for the larger turn fins. My rudder blade is also quite short. So if I put the ruler on the keel, you can see that the part in the water is not very big. Of course, when the boat runs, it will lift the bow a little bit and just and a little bit bigger part of the rudder will be in the water. But nevertheless, maybe a longer rudder blade will also improve the steering. So that's something to try for next time. These props are just totally stock, even though you can run them like this, no problem, because these are CNC milled props. I did notice that if you cut the blades and make them real sharp, you can improve the performance of your boat. So I will definitely do that. Looking at the bottom of the hull, I did sand it with 400 grit, but when you look closely, you can still see the weave pattern. So I will add some filler and make it totally smooth. And then I will send it with 600 grit sandpaper in this direction, longitudinal direction, and it will reduce the drag of the boat. The water cooling works perfectly. I could see a nice flow of water from the exit tubes. The stinger drives also worked great. I was concerned that maybe the angle would change because the turnbuckle would run loose, but it didn't happen. The runtime with these 3000 milliamp lipos was surprisingly good. I didn't expect I could run for uh, about 4 or 5 minutes. Maybe if I really push it with maybe even larger props, uh, the runtime will reduce to maybe 3 4 minutes. But I'm totally fine with that. For me, speed is more important than a long run time. Of course, I will finish the boat with some nice paint. I'm thinking about fluorescent orange. And maybe I will make a small cockpit hatch. Uh, I do like the looks of it. So there's definitely more to come for this boat. Tuning, running, finishing it. So stay tuned and I hope to see you next time. Bye.